the nth term of a sequence question number 27 the nth term of a sequence is n cube minus 5 write down the first three terms of the sequence so we will replace values in this one we will replace n is equal to 1 so 1 cube minus 5 will be equal to 1 minus 5 which is equal to minus 4 so our first term will be minus 4 then we replace n is equal to 2 so 2 cube minus 5 will be equal to 2 cube will be 8 minus 5 which is equal to 3 so second term will be 3 then we will replace n is equal to 3 3 cube minus 5 this will be 27 minus 5 which is equal to 22 so our answer will be minus 4 3 and 22 b part here is a sequence of numbers 3 6 11 18 and 27 find an expression for the nth term of the sequence so we'll check the difference so 3 plus 3 will be 6 and 6 plus 5 will be 11 and 11 plus 7 will be 18 and 18 plus 9 will be 27 so if we check the difference second order difference difference between these numbers 3 5 7 and 9 if we check second order difference this will be plus 2 this will be plus 2 next will also be plus 2 so second order difference is plus 2 so it, it this shows that n square is involved in nth term because second order difference is same so n square <coughs> if we replace n is equal to 1 we will get first term we will get 1 but as we see our first term is 3 so we will add 2 here so we'll get n square plus 2 if we replace n is equal to say for example 1 2 3 4 n is equal to 4 we'll get 4 square which is 16 plus 2 which is 18 so our formula is working so we can write this one as n square plus 2 this will be our nth term question number 22 a soccer team plays two matches the tree diagram shows the probability of the team winning or losing the matches this is the first match you can take it as first draw in probability and this is the second match which can be taken as second option second draw so first event will be this one second event will be this one so the question is find the probability that the soccer team wins at least one of the two matches one of the two at least so in case of probability question wording is very important at least one mean one or more than one wins are are included so what we will do we'll check the probability of ones for example see uh, this one is win this is win so this will be included win and loss this will also be included because one is win so these both are included this will be included loss and win only excluded will be loss and loss like if team is losing both matches at first level and second level both are lost then you can exclude so only this option will be excluded 
which will be this multiply by this so 2 over 3 multiply by 1 by 4 this will be equal to 2 over 12 so we will be excluding the, the remaining the total probability will be 1 so 1 minus 2 over 12 so what we can do we can uh, use e equivalent uh, equalizing denominator method so 1 can be written as 12 over 12 minus 2 over 12 now denominators are equal now we can subtract the numerators 10 minus uh, 12 minus 2 will be 10 so 10 over 12 this will be our answer 10 over 12 this will be the probability for at least one of the two matches question number 5 y is equal to mx plus c this is equation of line in slope intercept form find the value of y when m is equal to minus 2 x is equal to minus 7 and c is equal to minus 3 basically all three values are given we have to replace these values in the given equation y is equal to mx plus c so we will write y is equal to m which is minus 2 x which is minus 7 plus c which is minus 3 we will replace values in brackets so that we are not going to make any mistake so minus 2 multiplied by minus 7 will be 14 plus 14 minus plus minus multiplication with minus so minus 3 this will be plus 11 so y is equal to 11 is the answer y is equal to 11